Hi guys, this video to show you the example of material absorption. Okay, how well the material can absorb the signal from let's say the material the signal from this point. Okay, pass through the signal and then receive at point two gate. Okay, then we can indicate like how much the how well the material already absorb the signal. So in this video, you will learn about like how to check the S parameter from the graph. Okay, we have the S parameter here. And then you know what is like linear and db, okay? And then you know how to calculate using the formula to calculate the absorption. So let's say the material is here, okay? This is the material, material under test. MUT is material under test. So you have a power input, okay? The power input, we make it as equal to 1, okay? So in here actually is the power input, okay? Why we say this is the is 1? So why the power input is 1? Okay, the power input is 1 because it's like 1 times 100% of the signal. Okay, so it's equal to 100%. So we assume the input is 100%. Okay, so the power input here, right, they propagate and then they try to pass through the material. When they try to pass through the material, they have some reflection. So that's why they come up with like S11. So S11 is a reflection. And then the A is the absorption of the material. And then S21 is the signal that pass through. Okay, so we can say this one is the receiver part, okay, that receive the signal balance come out from the material. Therefore, we need the, the value for S21 and S01, so we can calculate like the total power minus with the reflected power and minus with the received power, okay. So, we can get the absorption, okay. So, actually, it's like P input. Okay, is equal to the reflected signal okay plus with the absorption plus with s21 so if they have no loss in here so of course you will get back one okay so this is the concept and then that's why when you want to calculate the a then we move it to a side then p in will minus with s11 and s21 okay why the s11 is power 2 and the s1 is power 2 because the voltage we want to change to power that's why we make it like power 2 Okay, so this is how the calculation works. So in this video, we'll teach you like full tutorial how to get this absorption percentage, how to calculate it, and how to get the result from the CST. Okay, so first I will show you how to create the material under test, and then with the port, how to set the port like port one and port two, the transmit and the receive port. Okay, so here we go. Okay, first you create a empty template. Okay, you can set the setting is like CM cm here and gigahertz okay and then you set your frequency the sim the frequency that you want to investigate okay let's say i set to like two to six two gigahertz to six gigahertz and then we set the background okay remember the background is normal okay and then the boundary boundary we will set later so okay after the setting we go to model okay we create a material under test so we just create like mut okay then we make it like 50 cm and 50 cm and the thickness is 10 that means uh oh, we are symmetry okay the s the width and the length is the same 50 50 and the thickness is 10 and then we choose the material we can choose like wood okay wood is one of the material that lossy material that can absorb signal okay like our, like the tree or some houses make it made by wood they will absorb the wi-fi signal okay so we have the material so we just load it okay so press OK. Okay, so you have a material now. Okay, so it's almost similar. Then to create the port, the waveguide port like the receiver here. Okay, this the transmitter and the receiver, port one, port two. So we go back and then we create like we click on simulate. We click on simulation and then waveguide. Okay, so you can see the port is here, but we want to make it like front and back, right? So you can choose like Z axis here. Okay, so you will have like Z axis like apply one and then another one is behind him. Okay, so you apply or you press OK. So done. So you have like two wave report. Okay, but you can see right here is like mm, they actually like greater than the sample. So we want to enclose it. So we will set the boundary. Okay. So the boundary, the first one is like electric, okay. The 
SSCs and the magnetic. Okay. Both of these doesn't matter because it's symmetry. And then here will be like we made it to open. Okay, let's say it's open space, right? Okay. So it's open space, right? So they have a gap here. So we don't know what is the distance. Okay, we can like choose it for open only. Just open. Okay. So you can see it's like attached to the material. Okay, and then we can choose from the background. Okay, the distance. We can make it like 100 cm and 100 cm. Okay, let's say you make it 100 cm, 100 cm. So you can see it's like far away from the material, 100 cm. From the lower distance of Z and the upper distance of Z. Okay, so 100, 100. They have a distance between the same. The material under test is 100, 100 cm. Okay. Then, because this is the material the symmetry, right? So you also can do the setting from the boundary. You can make it like here it will be like electric, here it will be like magnetic. Okay, so we make it like they were only similar here, but actually it's the same. You can try it out um, without set this one. Okay, the result and after set for symmetry, right? The result will be almost similar. Okay, and then this one will be save time for the simulation. Okay. So after done all the setting, we can go to the mesh here. We can do for the mesh setting is like uh, for the cell per wavelength. Okay, so if you higher the mesh, then will slower the simulation, but will be get more accuracy result. Okay, but we will make it lower because we just want to see the how the result looks like. Okay, so just press OK and then done. You can see the mesh here. Mesh cell is small, smaller. And then we go to the simulation. So we start the simulation. Okay, the accuracy negative 40 is fine. Just press start. Okay, then they will start simulate. Then wait until finish. Then they will put out the as parameter result. Once finish run, okay, you can go from here, click on the 1D result, click on the as parameter so you can see your as parameter result is here, then you can click on marker. Okay, so you will have the S11, S21, S12, S22. So you can see like S11 and S22 is the same. Okay, because it's simulation and symmetry from both sides. Okay, so you can see like S21 is here. Okay, so uh, the result that you want is like linear after they convert to linear. Okay, not the in DB. So we can click on here, they have, will convert automatically the linear to db so if you want to how how to calculate this one like the db and then convert to linear so actually it's like if you have the db here okay so let's say you have a db here the s11 in db and you want to convert to the linear right 20 log s11 in linear so s11 is equal to log here and then uh, the s11 db divide with 20 okay so the s one is here is a 10 right 10 log okay so 10 power of s one in db divide with 20 so you will get your linear s one okay so this is how they convert from the db here to the linear okay so you can see the result for this right the material for the wood okay so we can calculate the absorption so now we have the S11 is like 0 0.1558 and S21 is 0 0.4023. So we can calculate the absorption. So let's see. Okay, so let me move this. Okay, so let's calculate this one. It's like the absorption, the wood, okay, with the thickness. Thickness is equal to 10, m, 10 cm. Okay, so the absorption is equal to 1 minus the S11, so the S11 just now is 0 0.1557 power 2. Okay, double check. Uh, 8. Okay, so and then the S21 is 0 0.402. Okay, so so this one is 8. Okay, and then minus rate 0 0.402 times. Okay, power 2. So it's equal to 0 0.8134. Okay, so this is the absorption. Okay, this one is the absorption uh, V. Okay, so you get your absorption is 
0.8134. So if you want to convert to percentage, how much did they absorb? Okay, in percent, so it's 0 0.8134 multiplied with 100%. Okay, so that means your material, the wood, has been absorbed 81.34% of the signal. Okay, so this is how you calculate the absorption. Okay, so we can show another theory is like how about if the material is empty? Okay, so let's say we simulate the material to empty, that means right, you just right click the material, you can change the material to vacuum or A. Okay, so let's say we try like um, A is like A is like same as vacuum. Okay, so you choose A. So we press OK. So now it's like consider it's an empty material because it's open, it's A, right? A is nothing. Okay, so the material without anything, so we simulate it, we just press simulate, just press start and then run again. Okay, once done. Okay, once done simulation, so you can check the S parameter result here. Okay, so you can see like the S11 is okay, this one is in dB, we need to create like linear. Okay, so we can check like 4 gigahertz, right? Same. So the S11 is 0 0.0134 and the S12 is 0 0.9925. Okay, so we let's put the value into the calculation and then let's see how. Okay, so again. Okay, so we can put it here like the A. Okay, so it's equal to the absorption is equal to 1 minus V. Let's see here it's 0 0.0134. 0 0.00134 power 2 minus V the S21 0 0.9925 okay let's say we put it like 0 0.9925 okay and then power 2 so it's equal to 0 0.0149 okay so if the absorption for the A is 1.49 percent okay so you can see this one is like the absorption for the a so it's very low as well so we also can try like how about the material is metal okay so from your aspect right if the material change to metal right most all of the signal cannot pass through the material okay and the signal will all is like reflected back to this side okay they won't pass through this material because it's a metal it's all reflect okay so we also can like save our file first. Let's say this one is our A. We can just like copy, just control C, and then you can right click on here, create a folder, new family, new, new tree folder. Okay, then this one is like A. Okay, so you can press like A and then copy paste. Okay, this is your A result, and then you will simulate another one for the method, and then you can compare. So this one is like right click and then change to the method. We can choose PEC or we can choose aluminium. Okay. Also like conductive material that will reflect the signal. So like press choose like aluminium and then you just press OK. Okay, and then we will simulate again. Then let's see how the result. Okay, once you finish the simulation, okay, you go to the S parameter again to check the result for the method. So remember, you need to choose like linear. Okay, so this is linear. So you can see that S21 right, is zero because the signal cannot pass through. That's why no signal in port two. That's why it's zero. Okay, you can say like zero here, and then the S11 is zero point nine nine eight eight. Okay, let's do the calculation. Okay, for method aluminium. Aluminium. Okay, so the A equal to 1 minus 0 0.9988 power 2 minus weight. The S21 is 0. So it's equal to 0 0.0024. Okay, so we time it 100% in percent. That means it's only 0.24%. So that means the aluminium, right? They can't absorb any signal. Okay, that's why the absorption is very, very low. So this video has been show you like how to calculate the 
absorption for aluminium, A, and wood. Okay. You can try to calculate it for this one. Okay, this one is the wood is equal to the thickness is equal to 5 cm. Okay. So this one is 10, right? So if you change to 5, that means right, you just go to the simulation here. Okay, you can play around the thickness. So you just change the thickness of the material to 5. Okay. Okay, but before you change, if you want to save your data, remember just choose the S parameter and then copy and then you can just new wood. Okay, then paste. Okay, you save your file first. Okay, you save your result and then after that you just change the dimension. Okay. If you have to do for the S parameter strip, so better you just click on the thickness here and then you change to the variable. Okay, so this one is the thickness. So when you press OK, you can change to a value. Okay, so when you have the value here, right? Okay, 5, 5 cm. So now it's like 5 cm for your thickness. So with this variable, right, then you can do the parameter strip. You just click on the setup. Okay, and then parameter strip here. Okay, new sequence, new parameter. So the T. So you can change like maybe from 1 cm until 10 cm. And then how many samples you want. If you want to have 10 samples, you just put 10. That means 1, 2, 3 until 10. You have 10 samples. Then press OK and then just press Start. Then they will simulate like all the results for you from 1 until 10. Okay. So this is the example that I create. So you can see here it's like they have A with the symmetry plan. Okay. And without the symmetry plan, that means like the boundary is open, open. Okay. That means the boundary condition without symmetry plan. Okay. And the metal result and the vacuum and then wood with 5 cm. And then this one, yeah, this one is 10 cm. From here, you also can check the reference impedance. It's like 377 is like the impedance of the A for the free space. Okay, so how to get the 3770 ohm? This is the formula. Okay, for free space, the impedance is equal to the impedance for A free space. Okay, free space is equal to square root of permeability in free space and the uh, dielectric and the dielectric constant in free space so they will be like equal 3770 oh. okay so you sometimes you will see like they write the formula like one two high as well okay when you multiply up, then you will get like 3772. So that's all to show like how to simulate the material under test and how to calculate the microabsorption. So you can, so you can sim simulate any material to test the absorption in any frequency range. So you just remember to change the frequency range and then you can test the material in any frequency range that you want. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you very much.